A bedtime routine turns tragic for a Winston family after a young girl is found unresponsive in a bathtub. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Matt Templeman. And I'm Renee McCullough. This happened Tuesday night, and family members and police are still puzzled about how the 11-year-old died. KEZI 9 News reporter Jessica Devis is live tonight in the studio with our top story. Jessica? Matt and Renee, the community of Winston is mourning this tragedy tonight, trying to wrap their heads around the loss of Jada Wimberly Olinger, a girl who suddenly died after finishing her first day of middle school. Jada was a wonderful, bright, athletic, um, intelligent girl with a full life ahead of herself. This is the face of a healthy and happy girl, a girl who family members say was even excited about school. She came home, and called her grandma, was super excited, loved her new school, loved the first day, couldn't wait to go back. And like any typical now sixth grader, she had a pretty routine school night schedule. They would eaten dinner and you know, she was getting sleepy and so he had told her to go up and get in the bath and get ready for bed like any other parent would do with their child. The family is at loss for words at what happened next and so are investigators. Completely unexpected and not something that you normally would ever see. We have no reason at this point to believe that it is a criminal investigation or that there's anything suspicious, although it is an unusual set of circumstances as to what happened. Police say Jada was found unresponsive in the bathtub. There were no apparent signs of trauma and she had no prior medical conditions. And 11 year olds don't usually drown in a bathtub. So like most investigations, police will now turn to an in-depth autopsy and toxicology report for answers although they are unsure what they will find because although the victim is a normal girl, this isn't your typical case. I can not even imagine what her father Mitch is going through. A GoFundMe account has been set up for the family. That link will be listed on our website. A generous donor has already come forward and offered to pay for all funeral expenses. There will be a candlelight vigil for Jada at River Bend Park tomorrow night at 745. That's in Winston. Live in the studio, Jessica Debus, KEZI 9 News.